to the short tutorial on the GBOTS Chemi XX6-XX9 gel imaging system. GBOTS Chemi XX6-XX9 gel dock systems have the highest resolution cameras for imaging multiple sample types and sizes, from fluorescence 1D and 2D gels to chemorescent plots. Featuring an extended dark room, you can choose between a 6 or 9 megapixel cooled high quantum efficiency camera for unrivaled levels of sensitivity and minimum background interference. High LED lighting options cover the full spectrum of high intensity blue, green, red and infrared, resulting in faster exposure times and publication quality images. An edge lighting option can also be used for 2D gel capture, including the use of dyed gels. The system is controlled by Genesis application driven image capture software and comes complete with unlimited copies of Gene Tools analysis software. In this demonstration video, we will be looking at how to do automated temporoluminescence imaging in Genesis. For all image capture applications within Genesis, we can either do this automatically or manually. When we select blots, we have the choice of doing a single chemi capture or a series capture. We select the block size to automatically zoom onto the sample for the best image resolution. The reagent used on the blot is then chosen so that when you refer back to the image later, the protocol is saved. Another nice feature is the visible marker, which is overlaid with the chemi image. This will multiplex the marker, such as a visible protein ladder, with your chemi reagent sample. In the image preview tab, we can make sure the sample is positioned correctly and options such as lens focus and control. Sample positioning can be done with upper white lights or simply the door slightly open. Sample focusing can be done simply when writing on paper. Chemi Preview is a feature which enables the user to quickly see the positioning of bands and then decide which areas to focus on for the imaging. This allows us to use auto exposed area, which is a powerful feature if you have both bright and faint bands on the same blot. We can either select the faint bands to optimize the signal they produce or we can select the area outside of the bands to ensure the fainter ones show up. Genesis allows the user full control over the image capture parameters. So we can capture a high definition image, perfect for publication which uses less binning, or a quick capture to check the presence or absence of bands which utilizes more binning. As with all automated captures images in Genesis, none of the pixels will be saturated by the sample which is ideal for quantification. The protocol can be saved to the home screen to save time when setting up future samples. The histogram shows the level of grayscales captured with the maximum number available at 65,500. We can also add annotations to the image and directly export to Gene Tools for quick and simple quantification of your plot. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at DNA auto capture on one of our fake gels. For DNA or RNA gels, we have two imaging choices, manual or automatic capture. In this example, we'll do this automatically. We select gel and DNA agarose in this example. Next, we are then asked to select the gel size. This is for automatic zoom for better image resolution. The next step is dye selection. This will bring up a recent selection of dyes used, or you can select from the full library within Genesis, which totals over 300 dyes. We also have the option to change the lighting and filter selection for the dyes. Once all image capture parameters are defined, we can make sure the gel is positioned correctly with the image preview. This gives you various options such as lens control, iris control and zoom or focus. Genesis will then calculate the exposure time needed and save the image of the gel. This will never saturate in automatic capture. We can then save this as a protocol, meaning all future gels can be imaged in the same way. This means we can skip the image setup and go straight to the sample positioning. We have the option to look at our histogram to maximize the 16-bit grayscales used. As with all images in Genesis, these can be annotated or exported directly into Gene Tools for analysis and simple quantification. Western fluorescence blotting is considered a more complicated method for protein quantification. However, it comes with a number of benefits compared to chemiluminescence. Not only can multiple target proteins be quantified in the same blot, but it comes at a significantly reduced cost. When costs of antibodies, reagents and markers are factored in, Western fluorescence is shown to be more than five times cheaper than chemiluminescence Western blots. This also doesn't factor in maintenance of developers and disposal of chemicals. Furthermore, 
the fluorophores typically used in confocal microscopy will already be widely available in most labs. Here we will be looking at how to do automated western blot fluorescence in Genesis using two different band passes. Once we select fluorescence blot, we select the blot size to automatically zoom in on the sample and optimize the resolution. When selecting dyes, we have the option to select up to five based on what we are imaging on, on the blot. The fluorophores used on the blot are chosen so that when you refer back to the images later at a later date, the protocol is saved. This also ensures that optimal excitation sources and appropriate emission filters are used to give you the best possible image. In the image preview tab, we can make sure the sample is positioned correctly and is in focus by using the automated lens controls. If you are unable to see your block clearly, you can place a piece of paper with writing on it in the darkroom to adjust focus. Auto expose area is a powerful feature to use if you have both bright and faint bands on the same blot. We can either select the faint bands to optimize the signal they produce, or we can select the area outside the brighter bands to ensure the fainter ones show up. As with all automated capture images in Genesis, none of the pixels will be saturated by the sample, which is ideal for quantification. The protocol can be saved to the home screen to save time when setting up future samples. The histogram shows the level of grayscales used in the 16-bit camera. Band colors can be edited for user preference and annotations to the image and direct export to gene tools for quick and simple quantification of the blot can also be performed. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. For further information please visit our website www.syngene.com or follow us on Twitter or LinkedIn.